Okay, I think we just got cut off there. We're just going to quickly continue. Okay, so our network is a little bit slow. Okay, so, our network... so we're just going to continue from where we left, Royals, because of our network, and we will have to take more of the scriptures probably next week as well. Okay, so now let's look at Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 21, quickly. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of a man. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing and perfect will. It says, do not, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that means you need to be transformed by the word of God. You need to renew your mind with the word of God. For you to make progress in life without the word of god there's no progress for by the grace given me i say to every one of you do not think of yourself more highly than you ought but rather think of yourself with sober judgment and accordance with the faith god has distributed to each of you for just as each of you has one body with many members and these members do not all have the same function so in Christ, we thought many of a uh, form one body, and each member belongs to all the members. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If, if it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generous, uh, generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Okay, so that is doing all the things that you need to do, right? Cheerfully, do it with all your heart so that you can also make progress, that you can also grow in your life. It says, love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. And so I think you can actually read that on your own. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 21. It has got a lot to learn on it. It's got a lot to learn on it. So now, because of the network that is giving us a challenge, we are just going to take probably one or two more scriptures, and I will call out the rest of the four scriptures. We will lead somebody to Christ and round up for today. Then you can actually join us for an inspiration for you uh, later um, on our other platform at Ratisham. Okay, so let's look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. Colossians chapter 2. Let me just quickly read it for us. He says, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were told, and overflowing with thankfulness. It says, rooted and built up in him. So when you are rooted and built up in him, you will surely make progress in every area of your life. There will be pro progress in every area of your life. Okay, so let me, let's, let me call out the other four scriptures. I think they're just one. 
Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 to 3. Then we have got First Peter chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Philippians chapter 3, verse 1 to 14. John chapter 15, verse 5. And Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. So those are some of the scriptures that you can read on your own. Um, Colossians, uh, sorry, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 to 3. First Peter chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Philippians chapter 3, verse 1 to 14. John chapter 15, verse 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. So these are some of the scriptures that you can study on your own and get to learn more on making progress. So each and every single day of our lives, we ought to make progress. So you're going to make progress in your spiritual life. You have to make progress in your finances. You have to make progress in your job. You have to make progress in your business and in every area of your life. Grow mentally, men mentally, materially, grow physically, grow in each and every area of your life. They ought to be growth. Refuse to be on the same level in the midst of challenges. Break out and progress. Never be limited by situations. I like that. It says never be limited by situations. Break out of, situ of, of limitations. Don't let anything pull you down, drag you down, so that you don't make progress in your life. There ought to be progress in everything that you do. So as you pray, you decree and declare that, Lord, this month of October is my month of, of progress. Not just month of October, but throughout my whole entire life, I'm going to be making progress. I'll be conscious of progress in my life. I'll be conscious of growth. I'll be conscious of development. I'll be conscious of expansion. I'll be conscious of change in my life. There ought to be progress every day. You know, you, you, that's what you need to tell yourself. There ought to be progress. If you're selling you sold two, uh, two products, today there, there ought to be more products sold. And the, that means you, 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 you get, you know, uh, 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 you, you become growth becomes part of you so that means you're now conscious of growth every single day of your life you are like no i'm not gonna be on the same level i don't allow myself to remain on the same level to be the same no i will not stay on that same level i ought to make progress and as you grow remember that you are rooted and grounded in the word of god there's nothing that can intimidate you no fear no amount of competition or i mean I, there's not much of there's no competition no challenges no nothing that can you know stop you from making progress in your life there ought to be progress you are a child of god if you're not making progress you must be worried you can't be clapping hands for other people you can't be clapping hands for other children every time not that you shouldn't do it you should celebrate others clap hands for them but then you cannot be the one that is ever clapping hands for others and you are just there nobody says well, well done you have made progress you should be worried and say no enough is enough there ought to be growth in my life i ought to make progress glory to god so we're going to stop here for today royals um you can check the scriptures and read them that i've already called out it's colossians 2 verse 7 isaiah chapter 54 Verse 2 to uh, 3, 1 Peter chapter 2, uh, sorry, um, 1 Peter is 2, verse 1 to 3, Philippians chapter 3, verse 1 to 14, John chapter 15, verse 5, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. So you can read those scriptures on your own and begin to meditate on them. Begin to declare progress in your life. Everything I touch is blessed. Everything I do prospers. Everything I touch grows. And as I step out, I make progress. As I come back, I report progress. Progress in every area of your life. Glory to God. If you are watching me right now and you are not born again, you haven't given your life to Christ, I'd like you to say this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart right now. Romans 10 9 says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, says you will be saved. So I would like you to say this prayer and mean it with all your heart. Say, oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, whosoever 
shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life from this day. Lord Jesus, I believe with all my heart that you died for me and you rose again from the dead for my justification. Today, I receive eternal life into my spirit right now. I declare that I'm saved, I'm born again, I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for saving my soul. I'm a new creation in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. If you've said this prayer, you are born again. You are now a new creation in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. You have made progress already by giving your life to Christ. Glory to God. So right now we are going to pray uh, 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 royals and thank God for the word that we have received. Though the network was giving us a challenge, you know, but we would thank God that we have received the word in regards to progress in our lives. We will make progress in every era of our lives. In our businesses, we make progress. In our jobs, we make progress. In our homes, progress. In our finances, progress. In everything that we do, it's progress. As you get into your meetings, progress. As you attend to your clients, progress. There ought to be progress in everything that you lay your hands to do. Progress in your mental life. You grow mentally, physically, emotionally, socially, materially. They ought to be growth. You ought to make progress. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for the word that you have received today. We thank you, Father, that as it is easy, the message came. We receive it all in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that in every area of our lives, we make progress. In our jobs, we make progress. In our businesses, we make progress. In everything that we lay our hands to do, we make progress. Why? Because you have given us the grace to progress. Father, we thank you that as we study your word, we understand and we use it to make progress in our lives. Lord, we thank you that who we are today is not who we'll be tomorrow. There will be another level of growth. We make progress. Lord, we thank you that even as we prepare to round up the year, everything that we ought to do this year, God, locate us with speed and we make progress. We meet up our targets in the name of Jesus. We get positive responses in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for progress in every area of our lives. We decree and declare prosperity, greatness in everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Glory to God. So that is all for today, Royals, on the words that we've shared um, on our topic, make progress. And I hope you know that, and you are conscious of this, that every day of your life, there ought to be progress. You can't be too comfortable with you being on the same level, doing the same things, learn new things, advance, grow, make progress, you know, get to network with other people where you can grow. And of course, stick to the word of God as well. Glory to God. So that is all for today, Royals on the word uh, that we shared make progress i hope you will make progress in every area of your life so i will see you again next sunday for more insightful knowledge of the word of god don't forget you must make progress like i always say every time stay blessed stay connected stay in the word of god don't move an inch away from the presence of god god loves you and i love you God bless you. I will see you again next Sunday for more knowledge of the Word of God.